Hey guys, so this video is going to focus on how to figure out which fraction is larger when given two fractions to work with. So a lot of times, um, especially when it comes to fractions, we're not always familiar with the exact number that these fractions represent. Now, a good way to figure that out is you can always divide the fractions out. You can take 2 divided by 3, and then you'd have a decimal representation of what that actually equals. And for the most part, def decimals tend to be easier for most people um, as far as what their actual values are. But if you're given two different fractions and you need to figure out which one is bigger, right, simply by looking at them, um, you may not always be able to tell. So there is a process to go through to figure out which is larger. There's actually a couple different processes to go through. Um, I'm going to use the cross multiplication process. A second process that you could do is uh, finding common denominators for them, and then it would simply be a matter of comparing their numerators. Otherwise, you can cross multiply and figure out which one is larger. So if you're going to use cross multiplication, so what you want to do is you want to essentially make it x with your multiplication. So what I'm going to do to figure out if 2 thirds or 5 eighths is larger, so I'm going to multiply across these fractions. The numerator of 1 times the denominator of the other one. So if I take 2 times 8, this is going to give me 16. And that's going to be my representation for the fraction on the left. Then I can do the opposite with the other cross section here. I can do 3 times 5. And 3 times 5 is 15. After this, it's just a matter of comparing the two different numbers. Which one is bigger, 16 or 15? 16 is definitely bigger than 15, and since 16 goes with the fraction here on my left, that means that 2 thirds is larger than 5 eighths. Doing that again, so let's look at our next example here. Which fraction is larger, 7 eighths or 19 over 21? So again, we need to make an x with our multiplication, starting out with 7 times 21, which is 141, and then taking 8 times 19, Let's see which is 152. So out of 141 and 152, 152 is definitely larger, so that means 19 over 21 is larger. Otherwise, our last example, we have 2 and 1 fourths or 11 six to compare. If you're given a mixed number along with a regular fraction, um, I would recommend changing them both into improper fractions. So taking this 2 over 1 fourth in order to convert that to an improper fraction, that's denominator times whole number, 4 times 2 is 8, plus the numerator, right, denominator times whole number, then plus the numerator, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and put that over the same denominator. Um, Otherwise, I'm going to use that fraction then along with the 11 6 to compare which one is larger. So taking 9 times 6, so 9 times 6 is 54. And then taking a look at 4 times 11 is 44. So which fraction is larger, 54 or 44? 54 definitely is. So that means the 2 and 1 fourths is larger than the 11 6. So that's how you tell which fraction is larger by using cross multiplication. That's it for this video.